Hey foodies, today I'm bringing you a super simple, super easy recipe because it doesn't always have to be a bit complicated things, but this really, really works. And it's as simple as a sandwich, un bocadillo, as we say here in Spain. And all we need are these fabulous tomatoes, super, super jamón serrano, a nice, beautiful, crusty bread, and of course, olive oil. So to start off with guys, and this comes from, from Catalonia originally, I'm super lucky actually because I have my own tomatoes growing here in my own garden. Um, so these are super full of flavor. Obviously, I'll always recommend you buy Canarian tomatoes because they are literally best in the world. So we have these tomatoes, very simple, lovely, beautiful tomatoes. Well, in the old days, what we would do is would grab these halves and basically rub them against the bread. But to be honest with you, I find that to, to, to leave a lot of uh, waste, which I don't like, as you know, I, I hate waste. So what I do instead is I grate them. I'm using the coarse, the coarse side of a, of a normal grater that we all have at home. And I literally hold them by the skin up and grate them into a bowl. Vale. Until I've literally got rid of everything except the skin, which I don't want for anything. And we repeat that with all our halves. This is gonna give us a very lovely, velvety, beautiful mixture of pulp, juices, and obviously the pips. And we have no waste, which for me is the most important. So we have all the goodness of the tomato that we need. And we throw nothing in the bin. This is also good to do it in, inside a, a, a Tupperware or a container if you're going to go off to the countryside, for example, or I do it when I go up to the beach, um, and I don't want to soak my bread in tomato initially because it will go soggy and it will go horrible, okay? So what I do is I, this step I would do and put it inside. Look at that. Wonderful, beautiful, beautiful velvety. Okay, what I would do, I'd put it into the container and leave it there till I use it. What I will do at this stage, guys, clean the board a little bit, sorry. What I will do at this stage is season it a little bit. A right, little bit of salt, don't overdo it because the ham does usually have a bit of salt. So, a little bit of salt, and I will always use black pepper because I love black pepper. Right, yeah. We season it and we have it ready. If I was to take this to the countryside or the beach in order to make this particular sandwich, which I do very often, I would also add my um, my olive oil heat at this point as well. However, I'm not going anywhere. We're doing it now. So, bread, nice crusty bread. No bocadillo is, doesn't happen without a nice crusty bread. So, choose your size how much you fancy, and obviously half it. Okay. Here's some beautiful bread. Perfect. What happens at this stage is we bring our tomato and we spread it on both halves of the bread, okay? Don't overdo it. You don't want to over soak the bread, okay? But do be generous because you do want that tomato flavor. As I said, the origin of this recipe is from Barcelona and they use all sorts of embutida. They use all sorts of cold meats. Um, they don't only use serrano ham, they use butifarra, which is very common over there. I've seen people do it with normal ham and even cheese. So it works, it actually works with everything. So guys, we've spread it out. We've spread this wonderful mixture of tomato and salt and pepper and obviously the star a very very good olive oil this has been cold pressed this is beautiful flavor use the best you can or the best you can afford it does make a difference okay so we drizzle it on top again both sides of the bread lovely golden color do help yourself again with the with the spoon to help it ooze into the bread. That's really important because you don't want it dripping down your arm once you bite into the sandwich. Okay, right, with the jamón. 
Come on, you can use, all, as you know, you can buy all sorts of types and prices. Obviously, I will always recommend the, most, the best you can buy without overdoing it because I mean, I'm a really big fan of, of Jamon de Jabu, of the one we cut with the with the with the knife. But to me, um, it's unnecessary to use it here. I prefer to eat that Jamon without, not even with bread, just on its own with a nice glass of wine is sufficient for me. In this case, I've bought um, I've bought paletilla, which comes from the from the the um, the, the front legs of the pork. In my opinion, they have a bit more flavor than the back legs, even though they are a lot smaller. Um, but they do have a lot more flavor. And uh, as I said, use you don't have to use super duper expensive one, but uh, do try and spend a bit of money on it because it will make a difference, okay? Anyway, let's be a bit generous. On this case, I'm going to use three slices of jamon. Um, I have taken it off the, out of the fridge a couple of hours earlier okay because if jamon is too cold it doesn't taste of anything so um i ha i did take it out okay bear that in mind in the fu for future reference anyway guys this is ready my jamon sandwich is super super ready now you just need to bite into it and enjoy mm. oh beautiful guys highly recommended let me know how you get on love you all bye